Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video, and today uh, I'm going to be opening up some packs that you get from completing sets. And I collected a total of 20, and that should give me a total of 20 rare gold players if I open up all these packs. So, uh, basically the set I completed was the middle set, uh, where you trade in two players and then you get a player back. And uh, if you guys want some tips on how to complete sets, uh, the best way to do for me at least was I opened up a lot of packs, and I had, when I had a lot of players, I basically... Uh, played offline games with a really bad team, uh, walked away from the TV, and then came back. And uh, just for completing a game, you get coins. And I think you get like a thousand coins for every game played minimum. And uh, even if you lose a game, it doesn't matter. So uh, basically, I would keep playing out games, letting the offline or the AI score on me, whatever it is. And then uh, when they when the players run out of contracts on my team, I will throw them up on here. And then I would trade them in for sets. And I have a whole bunch of players in my collection with no contracts. So that is basically what I did. Uh, but right now we have 20 of those packs. We're going to open them up. That's basically a total of 40 players to trade in if you were to do this yourself. So you guys can kind of see if it's worth trading in your players and trying to, you know, open up these packs. And if, if these packs are worth it. So from what I know, at least, I've opened up like at least 10 or 20 of these packs already. And uh, they're, they're pretty decent, I'm not going to lie. You get some good 85 overall players, minimum. And uh, right now we got Paul Martin, so pretty, I don't know, pretty average for his pack. Most of the time I'm just trading in like 78 or 79 overall guys, so it's not too big of a deal, you know, uh, getting rid of those players. Trade in for an 85 overall plus, even though they're not worth too much. Mark Strite, more duplicates. But yeah, usually, most of the time I get like an 85 overall. But, uh, let's go into the third pack here. We'll see if we can pull any of those Team of the Week cards. Maybe we got to let the animation play out. Uh, Brandon Dubinsky, all right, an 86 overall. I should maybe do like a count on the screen or something of how many 86 overall players I pull and how many 87 overall players. Just kind of list all the overalls and how, how many I pull. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely excited for sets for next year. Really looking forward to like what kind of sets you have to complete. Whether you have to trade in like, I don't know, maybe five contracts to get one rare gold player. I, I don't know what the parameters are but it would definitely be interesting to see like a lot more options because there's only like three different sets to complete and uh, some of them are kind of hard I mean like the first one um, it's like you have to trade in the rare consumable or what rare collectible and you can only pull that in the 3k pack and it's pretty rare to pull as well so um, I don't know that first one's pretty hard to complete even the third one uh, where you have to you know trade in a logo you have to trade in a jersey a coach an arena uh, that one is pretty tough to do. And oh, look at that. Andrew Cogliano. I think he's a speedster. That's actually a pretty useful player on my team. Yeah, I could definitely use him with uh, Carl Hagelin. And I think uh, Phil Kessel. No, Phil Kessel is not a speedster. He has a wicked wrister uh, setting. But yeah, that's not a bad player at all. Andrew Cogliano. But we'll see if we can pull something better than 86 overall. Brandon Dubinsky. Uh, Dylan Larkin. All right. I like how it has the first names now. Like before in NHL 16, it would just say like D Larkin if it was in NHL 16. But now they actually show the full name. So don't have to constantly guess on the first names. Definitely uh, make less mistakes with my commentary. Yuri Hoodler, not a bad player as well. So a couple 86 player, 86 overall players. And uh, yeah, these are going to fly by pretty fast because there's only one player. Unlike if you watch my other pack opening, like I was opening up those... 10 item packs where you know, it takes forever to open but uh michael granlin send that to the collection and um probably i'll do some more of these set pack openings just because like I, I think they're pretty fun to do anyways but yeah if you were doing these sets what's the best thing you've pulled from these sets so far because like i don't know you guys are seeing it, just a lot of 85 86 overall players nothing better than that i know there's some people that pull like ovies i was trying to buy an ovi today um i had a lot of coins that i spent on pack and stuff and like it was going like for 40k team of the week Ovi, it's ridiculous. I, I think it's a good time to invest in some players if, if you're looking to play the beta a little bit. I mean, you should invest in the team of the week players because they are pretty hard to pull. And as more people are gonna keep coming into the game, uh, the values will definitely keep going up. And uh, yeah, Justin Falk, all right, 88 overall. Jeez, he's rated pretty high overall this year. Yeah, pretty nice player. I'll definitely use him on the team. Even rated higher than Kevin Shattenkirk, which is pretty surprising. But I don't know. What do you guys think, Carolina fans? Do you think uh, Justin Falk is better than Kevin Shattenkirk? Uh, Jason Pominville, another 86 overall player. I swear to God, like Jason Pominville's been 86 overall for the past four years I've played NHL. 
Like, he has never changed overall since I've first played NHL. But, uh, yeah, we'll keep opening up these packs. Does it already show the last price sold? That's a little, I don't know, revealing. I mean, if you were to open up one of these packs and you already saw the last price sold and it was like a million. I mean, I guess you could get excited, but I don't know. I think that animation is a little bit too early, right? I'm looking at the bottom of the screen right now. Let, let me take a look. Yeah, you already see the last price sold. <laughs> That's pretty uh, garbage. I, I don't know. I think I should definitely tell that to EA. Just get rid of that uh, banner until the card actually shows up, right? But uh, Gustav Nyquist, I already have a duplicate. And how many do we have? Four, five, five left. So, so far, an 88 overall pull as our best pull. It's not too bad. I mean, could be worth completing these sets. Definitely have not gotten an 84 overall yet. And another Andrew Cogliano. All right. Send that to the collection. Probably just trade that in for a set or something because right now these cards aren't selling for anything. So, no big deal. Let's keep going here. We got four more. See an Ovi. Come on. There's an Ovi on the front of the pack. Martin Hansel. Big man Hansel. I think he's like six foot eight or six foot seven. And he's a heavy hitter. Oh man. Definitely maybe use him for a forward. Not sure how many people would use him on defense, but uh, yeah, this year the chemistry is a little bit different. You don't have to put change teams on people. You can put any player on anywhere. And as long as, you know, the synergy works, like that player will play in that position pretty well. So yeah. Next one up we've got Dylan Larkin, another duplicate. We're getting a lot of good overalls. I'm wondering like if this set will still exist in uh, NHL 17 when the actual game comes out. I think it'll be kind of interesting to see some of the set um, sets. I did go to the EA Game Changers event and saw some different types of sets. So um, I think these ones are just for the beta. Just I think it's just to give people a taste of how to complete a set and what type of rewards you can get. And uh, Alright, final pack here. We'll end off this pack opening. But yeah, Justin Fall, can we end it off with the Team of the Week? Yaroslav Halag, that is a pretty bad pack. So out of 20 of those collection packs, 40 players that I traded in, I got back, you know, a lot of 85 overalls, several 86 overalls, uh, no 87s, but we did get an 88, which is not bad. No team of the weeks, but uh, most of the players were just 80, or most of the players I traded in were 79 or 80 overalls, so it was not too bad of a, I guess, trade-off. So that was pretty, pretty much it for this set pack opening. I think it's just a little bit interesting to see what you can get. I will do some more in the future to see if I can pull some more of those good cards or if I can change my luck around. Maybe it's just a bad time to open packs. But that's pretty much it uh, for this pack opening. This should be the second video I post out today. And uh, I'll just try to keep pumping out videos for you guys. And if you guys want to see something that you guys want to see in particular, then feel free to leave that in the comment box below. But that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys did enjoy it, leave it a like. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.